Oh, excuse me. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it, it, whoops, wait a minute, what's going on here? There we go. Let me start over. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. <laughs> Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is April 14th of 2017. I just got back from the dermatologist office. <coughs> I have a basal cell cancer there. <coughs> so today I went and uh, he informed me, <coughs> really nice guy, and spent time and just informed me what the different options were and wanted to know which ones, you know, which I wanted. And so I go back uh, on the 17th, three days, and he's going to go ahead and do a procedure there. Uh, basal cell cancer, uh, <coughs> it, it doesn't spread very much. It's not <coughs> really deadly, but the word cancer scares people. I think there's about a 2% chance of <clears throat> it's spreading, well, it'll keep spreading unless you have it taken care of, but 2% uh, chance of it developing into something, a, a problem, you know. The melanoma, the one over here, is, uh, that's the dangerous kind. I have the basal cell cancer. Uh, the options were, <clears throat> uh, for the operations, uh, to go in and just take a big area and uh, then if you wanted to you could also have <coughs> chemo or you could have radiation and the radiation you would have to go every day for like 15 days and only take you know 10 or 15 minutes to do it the radiation, but you would have to go every day for 15 days. Uh, and now the kind of procedure I'm going to have done is the doctor is going to take a limited area, a little area around there, and then he's going to take some more tissue, and then he's going to send me to the waiting room or someplace, and they're going to check those cells. And uh, if they don't find any cancer in that area, then, then I'm done. Uh, if uh, they find some, if he finds some around, then I go back in there and he takes out more tissue and then he, uh, well, he takes out, you know, the, the tissue that was, and then he takes out some additional and he sends that to be checked. If that comes back negative, I go. If it comes back that he finds some cells there, he takes out more, you know. So that's what I have done. And so hopefully, now he said that, you know, <laughs> I might be there all day because it takes some time to get that taken care of. Uh, I guess I should take my Chrome book with me. I'm not sure. I wonder if they have uh, Wi-Fi there. Anyway, I should take my Chromebook with me and I guess I could play a game or do something. I guess what I should do is, uh, yeah, I guess it'd be better. <sighs> take something where I could watch a movie or something. It's hard to find a movie. Maybe pay, I might actually might pay for one. So... That said, I'll update you on the 17th when I get back. Um, what else? The last video that I made, a <coughs> YouTube video, was this one here. Uh, 
about the United Passenger and Security, the corporation and the whole thing, and I talked for an hour. And you can see I got, never had anything like this before, I got 25 thumbs down and only got 15 up. Got a bunch of views though. But I turned off uh, monetization, I turned off the ability for, for any ads to appear, so I'm not making any money out of, uh, out of those views or because there'll be no commercials in there. Uh, <clears throat> now in the, you gotta remember that two days ago is when I made that, uh, made the video and I talked for an hour. And during that time, uh, one of the things I said was that I bet that uh, Dr. Dale, I bet when, before they drug him out of there, I bet, and then I, I went through from my past experience of uh, dealing with people that I bet that he cursed and swore and threatened them and all that type of stuff. And I said that for sure with all those people having videos, that video and audio would show up so we would know uh, if he did do that. And of course I said that doesn't explain the, you know, the way he was roughly handled. And so, you know. Anyway, I spent an hour on that. If you want to watch it, watch it. But just keep in mind that it uh, was made before we found out. <clears throat> so apparently, uh, I I saw it. Uh, some video surfaced, and he wasn't cussing and threatening them or whatever. He was threatening them, you know, I'll sue you. But he didn't cuss or swear or anything like that. So I was wrong. First time in my life I've ever been wrong about anything. But that's the reason a bunch of quite a few people were angry with me. And I think that explains the 25 uh, thumbs down. Also, I wish uh, when people do thumbs down, you, sometimes you don't, you know, you don't, well, most, you don't know, is it thumbs down because the uh, quality of the video was good or the audio uh, was uh, not good or that you disagree with what the person said. It, it, so, and even that doesn't take care of, you don't know Wish you could somehow know more, but uh, also as an explanation, I have I think over 700 videos here. A lot of those videos I'm not too happy about, and uh, like take the Trayvon Martin situation. On that one, I made a video right away, and there were very few facts and I got some things wrong. But I left the video up and I'm gonna leave this other video up also. So people just need to understand that when you, you're watching this video, look and see what the, uh, on something like this, look and see what the date, you know, what the date is. And remember that the person making that doesn't know what we know now. Uh, I've had somebody object to a video that was years old and uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind. Also, I, I don't think any of you care and I don't think humanity cares or anything else, but I sort of feel like these videos that I make, they're a marker in time or, or, or something. I, I, I don't think I've hardly ever de really deleted a video I have deleted, well, I've deleted a few videos that were totally worthless because they talked about something that was over, you know, like a, uh, a new version of uh, Android being released and you could update your phone. Well, that, you know, that, that Android version was back in the Stone Age or something. I might have deleted that. But the rest of them I leave there because you can go back. You can go back and see. You can go back and see the videos that I was making with uh, much older, you know, USB web Logitech webcam. I remember it. I forget which video it is, but there's when uh, the webcams came out, and I think maybe it was just Logitech, and they had where you could. Uh, well, that, that's what this is here, which I turn off for this. Uh, there, it tracks, you know, your face. 
and it's much improved now. But uh, back in the beginning, it wasn't as good, of course. And I made a video, and I wasn't discussing sex or crotches or penises or anything. I made a video about, I don't know what it was, assassination of John F. Kennedy or something. I don't know what it was. And the camera was zooming in on my crotch. And, of course, there wasn't anything to see. Even if I had been naked, there wouldn't have been any, much to see, very little to see. And, um, but I had several people say, why are you aiming the camera at your crotch? Uh, please, folks, come on, come on now. Um, so I just think that I want to leave these videos and at some point somebody could go back and I don't think you want to see those old videos, especially because the, the audio was, you know, was not as good. The, uh, you know, the video was not as good. Uh, I'm now using the Logitech Brio, which is a 4K camera, if I remember correctly. Um, So, but I, I just, I, I leave them there. That doesn't mean because if there's an old video here and that doesn't mean that I still support, you know, I may have been saying that uh, Donald Trump was the greatest in the world. That doesn't mean, I, I didn't do that. But it doesn't mean that I think that Donald Trump, did, things change, you know. So, but that's the reason that the, uh, if in case you're wondering why a video is still there, but you do look at the date and remember that I like I made this video here about this thing uh, and information that was, was you know released uh, later on oh two another reason that there were probably 25 thumbs down I, I didn't mention what Dr. Dio's problems were but he had some very serious problems in his background I just mentioned that there were some and that that should not matter, you know, in this situation. Uh, but people, a lot of people were upset. I think a few people were upset that I would even mention his background because several people left the thing saying his background shouldn't matter, his background shouldn't matter. Uh, the problems that he had, some newspapers, or I'm not sure if it was newspapers or website, not a whole bunch, but several mentioned in great detail what they were, what the problems were, and the public uh, came down on those people harshly. They were, you know, we don't care what was in his history. This should not have happened, you know. He should not have been removed from the aircraft, he should not have been drugged down the aisle, and he, you know, of course you have some people say he was taken out to the tarmac, and I deleted those. I almost never, I've been doing this since like 1982, and my sites have always been open, and I, I've almost never ever deleted comments or deleted people unless I really, really had to. Uh, I just believe in an open free exchange of information or whatever but there were a couple people that left comments on this one saying that yeah he was taken out they drug him outside they drug him on the tarmac and then they beat him on the tarmac and I deleted those I'm going to get where I'm going to delete more of you know I used to be I would leave stuff I'm going to start deleting the ones that are fucking crazy and if somebody just misunder if somebody you know doesn't mean that if, if you make a comment that if you are incorrect or what, but in that situation, they know that he wasn't taken out of the aircraft or uh, through the lobby of the airport and drug out onto where the aircraft are and then was, be, you know, so. So, um, I think that's probably about it. I'm going to, I, Oh, let me mention this. 
uh, I just upgraded a program that I have paid for, and that's, uh, I forget which one it was, that's the one I've been using to record these videos. So they came up with a free upgrade, you know. So, or did I have to pay? No, that was a free upgrade, I think. So I upgraded and now the program crashes on me. So I tried another one and it didn't work out. And I mean, and I, this one I don't think I've paid for, or maybe I did. So I'm using this one, so this is a new one. So I hope that everything. Um, oh, there was something else. Uh, my uh, Chromebook, I ordered in a cable for it. The Chromebook that I have, the, is it the professional or the, I forget. The, it works with, it, it does not have any USB ports on it. It just has two of the uh, Type-C and it's the Turbo something or whatever, where you can use one cable and you can charge it up at the same time that you're doing things or whatever. And I had to order in a cable for that. Oh no, the cable I ordered was, a, uh, it doesn't have a um, uh, BGA or nothing, HM, HMI, it doesn't have any video output on it. So I had to order in a cable that had it and it wasn't very expensive. And so I tried that up. So, you know, hooked it into the monitor and it found the monitor and uh, put it on the screen. Looked looked good, of course, but of course it has a touch screen and this is not a touch, you know, touch screen, but, but and then I have the wide screen here. And uh, so that worked out okay. And I'll probably give you some more information about, uh, about that later. Um, I've been playing with a few things like that and there's a few of the uh, Chromebook is hooked up now. And uh, the Chrome box is hooked up now. So I can hit the monitor switch here and switch to it. And uh, so I'm going to be moving some stuff around, rearranging some stuff, but I've been trying a lot of stuff out. And if I come across, as I come across something that uh, I think might interest you, I'll let you know. And I think in a few weeks or next month, I the Chrome box has four gigabytes of memory in it, and I'm I th I'm going to upgrade it to eight gigabytes because it costs almost it costs very little to do that, so I'll be upgrading that. So I thank you very much for watching. Now I'll see if I can figure out what I hit to stop this. That apparently is not it because that's not the one I'm using. Which one am I using? Oh, I want to stop, let's see. I forgot which one I'm using. That's not it. That's the one I just loaded in by mistake. Oh, here it is. Uh, OBS, which is very popular with uh, people who do this or do like live streaming of YouTube. I do intend to do some live streaming of YouTube. I've done a little bit, two or three times. I do intend to start doing that. I just want to find maybe the time to do it and do it every day or uh, something. And But OBS here is um, a little bit complicated to use. And so I, I think I need to go look at some YouTube videos about how to use it properly. But I think I will be doing some live streaming. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching.